Hello! So, since I uploaded a video a few days ago of myself doing Chaos Vellum, I've been getting a lot of messages requesting that I share my bishop stats. So I decided to make a video today to answer some of those questions. Um, so, as an introduction, my character's name is Hot Pink. I play in NA Scania, and I'm part of Sheltered Guild. I have played Bishop since PC Maple Story days, and it's by far one of my favorite classes, mainly because you have the duality of both being a support class as well as being able to deal a great amount of damage as well. Um, I also really enjoy bossing, and I think that content specifically emphasizes the importance of a very good bishop. So I do want to preface this by with a disclaimer. Um, so I will be sharing my bishops' stats, but this is by no means any final say or recommendation of how other bishops should gear. And I will also admit that my gear is ever-changing, so this is just going to be a snapshot of how it looks today. So, as of right now, my emblem split is 4.5 boss attack and 3.5 crit damage. And I think anyone who has known me for a while in this game really knows that boss attack is probably my favorite emblem. Um, so... It's actually been pretty recent that I've gone up to 3.5 crit damage. Um, in fact, I had more boss attack emblems before, but for whatever reason, I have swapped out either due to availability or just event scrolls. So my current setup is 4.5 boss attack and 3.5 crit damage. In regards to my souls, I do have final damage on all of my equips. So my weapon has Mad Queen final damage, and so does my secondary weapon and my shoulder. My belt and cape both have Cygnus final damage, and in fact when I first started getting final damage on my armors, I opted to go with Cygnus final damage, and I was incredibly lucky. I um, managed to get four final damages with six rolls back when the souls themselves were 500 mil, so um, I think I'm a little crazy for trying to re-roll to queen final damage, um, but as of right now, I think I'm content with where I am. Uh, so in regards to my potentials, I do have a lot of potentials that are scaled to EXP right now, but what I've noticed lately is that because I don't have a lot of EXP gear, um, my HP flames are slightly better than my EXP flames, so if these notifications go away, uh, my magic attack to max HP legendary flame is 542, and then this is a max magic attack to exp line and it's 486 so they're comparable but hp is definitely better for me um, with my setup and especially since my gear is not fully exalted either meaning that i can get more hp um, either with leveling or with exalting so i think down the road hp will definitely be something i'm headed towards um, also, of note, boss attack. So this is a magic attack to max boss attack line, and it's 448 compared to 486. So boss attack, even though I don't have um, boss attack souls, and I don't have a 5 set necro, which is 10 additional percent of boss attack, it's still comparable as well. Um, so we'll see how that goes, but as of right now, I think I'm going to keep my flames the way they are um, and work on them in the future. In regards to my M labels, so right now I do run a double M label set. Um, I had the pony set when it first came out, and um, so I run the three pony set with the current three snow set. And... 
I really do enjoy the additional 10% boss attack and the additional 5% magic damage that you get from wearing two 3-set M labels. Um, and so I use it in content such as Chaos Root Abyss, Web, GHB, Shrinian Culvert, and I find that it's more beneficial for myself to have the double M label in the setting of full buffs with party buffs. The only time I use my full M label 5 set is actually when I'm SF training, um, mainly just for the additional crit rate so that I can, well, for the additional crit rate and speed bonus so that SF training is more efficient. But um, most of my content is done with the double M label. In terms of hyper stats, if I can find it. So as of right now, I have maxed out final damage increase, max cap, and the ability to proc additional damage. Um, so I previously had magic damage maxed out, but when I realized that my character was able to consistently hit cap without magic damage, the only way for my character to deal more DPS was to allocate these points into the chance to deal additional damage um, as it's propped by every line versus just one single attack. Okay, and then I do want to emphasize that bishops also receive a final damage boost from a passive called Blessed Harmony. It doesn't actually reflect on the stat summary page, um, but it says final damage increase per party member 2%. So you can imagine that in content such as Chaos Root Abyss, you have a potential 18% increase in final damage. So with my character, this is the summary of my stats. Um, and of course, I know there are other bishops who are similarly geared or even better geared than myself, um, but this is a snapshot of what my character runs currently, um, but I'm still working on things such as my potentials and my flames as I had mentioned, but maybe I'll make a video in the future um, if I ever progress further. Uh, but thank you so much for watching my video, hopefully this answers some of the questions people have been wondering after seeing my chaos spell and video. Thank you!